As a young girl, Aubrey Wilson was always fascinated by animals and dreamed of studying them out in the field. Although it wasn't quite what she was looking for, Bree landed a job as a lab worker at Nyreta Biogenics, where she was given samples of cells picked up from the fauna discovered on planet Calypso. It was there that she met Percy Beringer, a chemist also studying Calypso. Percy graduated high school at the top of his class and had no trouble getting into a prestigious university. He transitioned right from college to working at Nyreta Biogenics at 22 years old and got to work right away in their lab. Bree joined a year later and the two formed a rivalry over their differing experimental procedures. The two had a lot of outward frustration towards each other, but that was nothing compared to the buildup of sexual tension they both experienced inside. Their frequent encounters stem from a desire to outdo each each other and ended up accidentally resulting in an unwanted daughter who ended up living with Bree as the two never got married. When Nyreta began offering positions studying on planet Calypso itself, Bree was quick to volunteer her services. Percy also received an offer, although his fearful nature resulted in him initially declining. Bree protested his decision and convinced him to come along as well, as she didn't want their rivalry to end on such a weak note. As they were preparing to leave, Bree heard that the LC was looking for someone with military experience and leadership skills to head the then-forming Windstriders, so she recommended her neighbor Daniel Taylor, partially because his daughter and her own daughter had become close friends. Much to everyone's relief, the LC chose Daniel to lead the Striders, and he left alongside Bree and Percy. Always curious and clever, Bree hates being stuck in one place. She is always out adventuring in the field, studying the Calypsian wildlife with her own eyes, and occasionally catching smaller specimens to observe in confinement in the lab. Bree's adventurous ways often leave her in situations of peril due to her absent-minded nature. Further impacted by her recklessness is her treatment of her daughter, who she tends to forget about while researching. Biology can certainly explain how Brie became a parent, but it didn't teach her how to become a mother. In contrast to Brie, Percy prefers staying indoors, conducting chemical experiments in the lab where he has control over the situation and outcomes. He's a nervous, anxious man, fearing the new environment that the Windstriders have located him to. His neurotic behavior leads to him and Brie often butting heads. Percy grovels over how Brie's advantage adventurous outlook on her job could get her killed, while Bree teases Percy on his reluctance to leave his safe little space, never getting his hands dirty. However, despite their opposing views, they get along well enough to have spent many nights together, leaving Percy longing for something more. Back in ninth grade, Bree was instructed by her teacher to dissect her first frog. Bree felt a little conflicted by this, as she kept frogs in her pond at home as pets. Although she found herself dissecting several more specimens throughout college, she always found herself feeling a little uncomfortable with the idea of peeling apart a deceased animal. Luckily for her, the biologists of Calypso are under orders to not harm any wildlife on the planet unless in self-defense. That said, Bree can't help but feel curious as to what lies beneath the skin of the fauna on this strange planet. Ever since he was a child, Percy grew anxious when asked what he wanted to be when he grew up. Even as late as high school, Percy was still completely unsure with what he wanted to do with the rest of his life. He received high marks in all of his classes, so one day, he lined up a bunch of note cards on a dartboard with school subjects written on them and threw a dart blindly. The first dart landed on gym class, which Percy immediately vetoed. The second dart went right past the dartboard and out the window, impaling one of his shirts that was drying on the clothesline. Finally, his third dart landed on chemistry, which Percy reluctantly decided to include as his intended major on his college applications. Luckily, he did grow to enjoy chemistry, even if it was a struggle at points. When Bree and Percy first met at Nyreta Biogenics, Percy was initially kind of afraid of Bree. There was something about her outgoing nature, high intelligence, and attractive figure that Percy just found both irresistible and intimidating. Bree found Percy's awkwardness to be kind of charming, and she playfully called him Fabio during their rivalry, partially because of his complete lack of flirtatious charm, and partially because Percy's hair was down past his shoulders at that point in his life. Confident Brainiac. She looks like she has a headache right now. Too many facts in there. Oh, there we go. She figured it out. <laughs> she figured out the solution. Eureka! <laughs> he looks a little too confident there, but other than that, I think independent thinker suits him well. Yeah, I think so too. Oh. Oh, a newsflash. What? <laughs> I was expecting a newsflash. Neither was I. Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm under poop percent with this line. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? Another newsflash. <laughs> newsflash? Ooh, group photo. Nice. We'll I'll have to experiment with that a little later. Yeah. Thanks for watching. 
Oh my god, <laughs> stop bothering me. <laughs> what do you want, Nab? Stop changing your news anchor. <laughs> I thought we already had that. This is for everyone, though. Oh. Pooper's gonna make more friends than everyone else. <laughs> Good luck, Pooper. You should have rejected Dakota. <laughs> oh my god! I want to play the game! Of course it's to bloop this time. <laughs> Quirky questions. Okay, we'll do this! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm fully expecting another one now. Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Fabulous Fish. And I'm Katatui101. And welcome back to Let's Play Tomodachi Life. So real quick before we begin, as always, you have to collect your daily donations. Yep, yep. And uh, are they here yet? Probably not. Yeah. We did just make them like 10 it's, minutes ago. It's their first day, so. So, as you probably noticed in that bio, we actually introduced two new characters today. And I don't think that the two of us can handle a task that big alone. That's what I'm here for. Hi guys, this is Emma. You might remember me from some of the previous videos that Vin has posted. Pokemon Sex Uplity from Nick Teams Unite, uh, Mario yes. Party briefly cameoed in Madagascar and briefly cameoed in Fire Emblem Warriors. So you're here with us today because, um, oh. I really don't know what to expect. She's at the cafe, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's Bree. She's our uh, biologist. She's, she's another, yeah, she's another character from uh, my series that's you know kind of in the making the wind, wind striders. striders so i don't see where brie is i see dakota no that's her oh that's she, she and dakota oh. have very similar well, also because, her eyes. <laughs> because they're like uh filtered by the mirror, not the, mirror yeah. the window there i can't yeah. tell who that was all right well she's just staring out his face unfortunately we can't meet her then she's a little bit preoccupied so emma do you know anything about tomodachi life i played the demo once oh, i love this game this game's great it's you think, so fun. do you think they're good to be here uh should we move them? Move them, like, to the end of the hall. The end of the hall? Off in the yeah. little corner alone? Because <laughs> Percy wants to get away from reality? Yeah. So basically, Emma, the way this game works is we just solve problems for me's in these apartments, and weird shit happens, is the best way to put it. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah. Just gotta see it to believe it. So would you like to help us solve some problems? Okay. So first things first, I guess Camille, Camille. or something. Well, what's in her hair? A uh, feather. A feather. It's a pretty flower feather thingy. <laughs> I like the stomach. <laughs> I got a strange look. I don't know. Someone who wants to meet her up on the roof. Should oh. she go? Oh, I think she should go. Yeah, I, I think she should too. Well, I think she should too. She can defend herself. Yeah, she's got a gun. <laughs> Let's see what this is all about. Oh, it's Neb. Oh God. Who's Neb? That's Neb. <laughs> He's this weird. He's a cashier. The little specimen is he has, Neb. He's an interesting character. <laughs> oh god. It's on his face. <laughs> the whole building can watch you munching potato chips, is that what he said? He said they can hear her. They can I think. hear you. He's just being passive aggressive telling her to chew quieter. <laughs> Who on earth was that? <laughs> Who on earth was that? I, I mean don't, I don't think she's actually met Neb yet. Yeah, that actually makes oh, she, sense. Oh she she's leveling up. Yeah, she only knows those two, so. Yeah, I think it looks a lot better than the old hideous room. Yeah, that thing was an eyesore. <laughs> She's had like this weird polka dot pattern. Oh, <laughs> he's just dead on the ground. <laughs> That's a mood. <laughs> hey, James, what's up? Hey there, Nebs look alike. <laughs> when I'm worried. Oh, shit. What should he say when he's worried? Oh, um, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Should he say, oh, shit? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that for him, All right. actually. All right. He still needs to pull his pant leg down. I know. Oh, <laughs> Wait, why is his pants like that? Because he's a slob. <laughs> Ooh, he leveled up. Sweet. What should we get him? Um, what about a gift? So what's he gonna do with it? Oh, listen to it. Oh. I know, it's a great song. Yeah, if you leave the room, I think. Is this the one where you can make songs? <laughs> you can write songs in this. As a matter of fact, uh, you're probably gonna help us with one for the other episode. Oh, oh look, see, he and his uh. girlfriend are hanging out. She's a dork, just so you know. Okay. She's just kind of a weird dork. He's kind of a little socially awkward, but like, he's a little more in reality than she is. So. Mm -hmm. They're like two croms. Kind of. They're, they're two yeah. different sides of crom. <laughs> She's very weird. She's just like shaking her head. Dance around. Move. Yeah, that's, that's the waddle right there. <laughs> and this is Fred the philosopher. He's 12. And he questions what? He's every... so tall. I know. <laughs> that's what I said. And he has such a deep voice. I'd like some new clothes that are plain. That are plain and modest. Plain and modest. All right, let's go shopping, shall we? Welcome. 
Hmm, boys gymnastic clothes? No. Gym, there's a lot of gym clothes. Mm, a lab coat. Oh, we oh, need well, to get that. We, need we need to, to get, get that, that for one of our scientists today. Yeah. Oh, man. And then there's Cardi. How many scientists fantasy. do you have? We just introduced two. Both two. in this episode, actually. Yeah, those are our oh. two new characters. As a matter of fact, once we get to uh, writing the bio, you'll be doing the voiceover for them. Oh. But we didn't actually get a chance to write that yet. It's something plain and modest. Um. I feel like that's pretty that's, plain. That's kind of plain and so modest. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling that. I feel like you'd wear that collared sweater. What color? Um, I feel like the blue is the plainest. The blue is the plainest. Yeah. Oh, that took half our money. <laughs> oh Basically, Fred's this, expensive. this whole game we're just broke. We're always fighting debt. <laughs> just like college, right? <laughs> oh no. All right, Fred, you like it? Yes. Oh, he loves perfect. It. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Spun around. Fred has never eaten anything. He's been here for a week. Oh my god. He's got He's, so you're starving him? I don't feed them unless they ask me for food. <laughs> yeah, he likes to stay home and read. He won't go out on adventures. I'm surprised, like, everyone's out today. I know. Come home, Bree. She's at the cafe. So They're this is out. based on, like, the personalities are, like, one of 16 types? Yeah. Is that, like, MBTI or something? Um, not... I mean, maybe it's Loosely? inspired by it, yeah. but, like, it's pretty much its own thing. Pooper's at the park. Daniel's at the park. Cooper. The park. And Neb and Kate are at the amusement park. Yeah. The oh. amusement park. Yeah, Watching see? the merry The carousel. <laughs> They're not on it, though. <laughs> They're not <laughs> there. They just like to watch it. <laughs> They're just watching it. They can ride it, though. Yeah, no, they just they like to watch. They do. They do. Kato has tried to propose to Neb like twice, but we sabotage it because we think it's too early for a wedding. Oh no. So we've re screwed up their proposals. <laughs> you screwed it up. Oh, look. They're hanging out. Aww. Cooper's a poor, depressed orphan. So Daniel's giving him he's some He's the advice. child. Yeah, he's the child. And Daniel's a uh, space marine. A space marine? Yeah. Is he from the sci fi series? Yeah, he's yeah. from the sci fi series. So he, he probably takes pity on a uh, poor young Pooper. What events do we have here? Uh, BBQ. Wait, it. Shouldn't the photo shoot be going on? Uh. Well, it might have been canceled because the turnout's too low. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, because the photo shoot should be going on now because it's 4 yeah. 17 right now. How do these events work? It just whoever shows up to them. Yeah, it gets to be part of them. It's very RNG dependent what happens in this game. Because, mm. like, for instance, right now there's no problems, which means we go shopping. <laughs> so if we don't have any money sound to work with. Oh, my we'll God, look at all this stuff that's going on. What's this event right there? It's time for a photo shoot. Oh. Oh. Oh, and we can't actually take it because the camera. It broke. So, unfortunately, since we're using an emulator, we can't actually do a whole lot with the camera. The camera doesn't work. So they try to take a picture of us, but they'll never actually take it. Mm -hmm. oh, it portraits of people. So, like, it's supposed to take your picture. Uh, d does it not work if the computer has a camera on it? Um, well, it does work if the computer has a camera on it, except for Tomodachi Life. For some reason, mm. the emulator has a weird glitch in it where Tomodachi Life won't work with the camera. It just soft locks when it tries to use it. That's bizarre. Yeah. Also, it should you work with the microphone, like the emulator works with the microphone, but we can't get Tone Dash to respond to that either. Ah. I know the camera thing's at least a known problem, so. I didn't expect you to be so. <laughs> <sighs> Neb's lookalike is our name. They assume that your name is whatever the name of the first me is. All right, we're going to play Tomodachi Quest in a bit, because I think Emma would get a kick out of that. But first, let's just see what's around here. Tomodachi Quest. It's an RPG. Let's buy some garlic for Wario. <laughs> some, it's a nice Aj. Tacos. Eat some tacos. Tiramisu. Mm, I love Is that, that how you pronounce that? I think so. And some tomatoes. You don't know how to pronounce tiramisu? <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck tiramisu is. Looks like it's a grilled cheese Italian. sandwich. It's an Italian, yeah. Like chocolate or something. I probably can't eat it, so Delicious. I've never had it. <laughs> you can't eat to oh. all. Let's see. A bed hair? Yeah, sure, why not? It's just. Oh my god, that's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that hat. That's a great hat. A newsboy cat. <gasps> Pooper needs that. Emma, can you see why we're broke? You just buy all the shit. Because <laughs> it's only here like day to day. It's random what's unlocked that day. And if you don't buy it, then you have to hope it comes back a different day. Oh, man. So we already have the art gallery in the Halloween town. Wizard. That's still here. I'm surprised. What's wizard? Ooh. That's a wizard. We can't afford that, though. Oh, man. It's We're so too cool, poor. Though. We're too poor. We might be able to raise enough money before the end of this episode. Mm -hmm. What else is happening? Well, let's let's have a news flash first to show these to Emma. Okay. Should they tell you about what's happening on the island? Is that they cut off? Astronaut Daniel. Perfect. He's perfect. <laughs> Look at him going with his water gun. <laughs> Why is he have a water, water gun's word in space? <laughs> okay. 
I really hope the Citro team fixes that. I like I how there's an option there for old news. Old news. And then you can rewatch old news. Is yeah, it saves an archive. Is there an option for fake news? I wish. All right, <laughs> then, you want to see Tomonashi Quest? All right. This is a great turn-based RPG. This gives you four random islanders and gives each of them a class. There are four classes, so they don't always get one character from each class. Sometimes you get like two of the same. Oh. Who's our team here? Brie, Camille. I can't tell it's Brie or Dakota. Is that from play. Zelda 2? The background? Oh, cooked eggplant has appeared. All right, so she's That's a, like an earthbound enemy. I know. <laughs> so basically, punch always does consistent damage. Kick misses a lot, but when it does hit, it always crits. Oh. So should she punch or kick? Because Brie's a puncher. Punch. Punch. Yeah. She punched the eggplant. <laughs> then Camille, Camille here, she has a sword, so she can do an attack or a special. Do a special. All right. I don't know what the difference is between those. I think it's probably the same thing with specials, more likely yeah. to crit, but it doesn't always hit. Jeez, and we have full oh, use magic. We have two mages. We don't have any healers, though. Ooh, uh -oh. that's gonna, that's gonna be rough trying to do this at a healer. Oh god. All right, you can only use magic six times per game oh. per, per magic character. So James can use it six times, and Pooper can use it six times. So shall we use it then? Use it. Fire. Nice. I'm just gonna make Pooper smack it with his uh, wand. <laughs> Weak. Oh, it attacks me. This oh is gonna God. be rough because we don't have a healer. I know. Wait, let's just kick and pray for crits. Did she crit? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Good job, Bree. Oh, that was to fast. Feed the eggplant. <laughs> nice. Now they get to yeah, eat. Yeah, this it. is very Zelda 2 esque. Mm -hmm. You only get to eat the final boss. Oh. Uh -huh. Whatever that is. All right. <laughs> oh, you don't get to choose which way to go. No, you do. You Next, do. Next, I think. Some after chicken you... pot pie. After we kill the chicken pot pie. Yeah, it was in the back. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Let's see the special. Come on. Come on, Camille. Yeah. All right. You know, let's just keep using James's magic because he was pretty good with that. Mm -hmm. Damn, 200 damage. And I want to save Pooper's magic for later. Yeah. We'll probably kill it with. No. Mm. Oh my god. Uh, oh, I him. breathe fire. Well, because it's probably hot from the oven. Mm. This is really. I've never had to do this without a healer before. It's rough. I've yeah, done like it a few times. It's like, possible, that feels brutal. but you usually lose someone. All right, come on, Camille. Let's. Come on. Yay. <sighs> magic. He's already used half his magic. I know. Ah, oh, nice. Sweet. All right. So the way the path works, Emily, is you get to choose which way to go. If your way goes to a dead end, you have to do another fight. If it doesn't go to a dead end, you just go right to the boss. Well, let's go right. Right? It's completely random which way is correct. Oh, no. Ah, shit. What is that? Is that an NES? Yeah, the, the, the final boss is an NES. <laughs> Wait, but you said they get to eat the final boss. If it's boss. food, it is. Uh, you, you get whatever the final boss go. is. go. I thought those were, were pigs in a blanket. It's kind, kind of blurry, of. so it's hard to tell, because <laughs> they're all pixely. All right, come on, Brie. Punch it. Kick it. Let's just do our regular tags. I don't think we've done that yet. Would you, yeah. would you eat snails? Because I've never had them before. I would try it, probably. Would you? I'd try it. I would, too. I'd be intrigued, because like I've tried calamari and stuff, and that's weird. Ooh, calamari's yeah. good. <laughs> it's all rubbery. I don't think we should eat cephalopods. They're, they're too not... smart. No, I, they, they don't taste right either. <laughs> they do taste like Robert. All right, so Bree just took damage there. No. I think we'll at least get to the final boss that one dying. Yeah. But I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat it because the final boss takes a long time to die. Yeah. You're using up all this magic. There we go. Oh, it oh. ran away. We scared <laughs> off. All right, let's go. We didn't even kill it. It just runs away. Yeah. Darn. Time to fight the NES. All right, let's get it. <laughs> I think this is like, this is very AVGN-esque right now. Yeah. You gotta fight the NES. Yeah, no, I'm getting some AVGN vibes from this. I see what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> just in the way, like, he always blows up his consoles or whatever. <laughs> well, at this point, we might as well just, like, spam the magic, because yeah. that's the last fight. He's and the I wouldn't last want them, of his magic. I wouldn't want them to die until I've had magic left over. Yeah. All right, Come Pooper. On, Pooper. Use your fire. He probably shoots flaming balls of poop at it. <laughs> it should be melting now. <laughs> Oh shit, Pooper's, oh, Pooper's fucked. Damn it. No, and he hasn't used all his magic. I know, that's gonna. Ugh. If Pooper's out, I don't think we're gonna be able to beat this. I feel like we're gonna use magic. Yeah, oh, Camille, how could you? Camille, you dumbass. <laughs> okay. She's just a dancer. Can you please not hit Pooper? Please, like, go for anyone else. Oh, oh Pooper's dead. Oh, Pooper's dead, yeah. <sighs> Pooper's absolutely dead. It should give us some rolling HP meters so Pooper, we can watch ourselves. Should Pooper pretend to die? Do they oh come God. back for the next battle if they die before the last battle? I don't think they do. Do they walk on the map still? Or do um, the others just drag their they body? They might just disappear. No, I, I just don't oh think they're Oh my gosh, they die. <laughs> well, actually, it says they pretended to die. 
He pretended to die to preserve his life. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna beat this. Your rest of them suck if you're not magic. Yeah, then this you is suck. this is really hard to do without a healer though. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like oh, they should always have a healer. Although it sucks to give two healers and so he can't deal any damage. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Bree's dead. Oh god, she's at seven. Pooper's uh, pretending to be dead still. No. Bree's dead. <laughs> All we have left is like a teenage boy and a dancer. Damn it. And the dancer <laughs> can't hit for shit. <laughs> a dancer. Camille was a go-go dancer before she joined the, the sci-fi team. Oh. God damn it. And now James oh, is dead. And now it's up to her. Come on, crit. 183. I like how I to go through everyone pretending to be dead. No, no. <sighs> no. Rip. You lost. Rip. You don't get the NES. I think we already have an that. NES. We might. I don't remember. We I have saw, a Game Boy. I saw this GIF once of a, a rat and it jumped on the camera and then it just faded and said, <laughs> you died. I just thought that was golden. Perfect. Before we go there, actually, I wanted to check out, we all knocked a new uh, thing at the rankings board. Mm -hmm. So we can't actually look at vitality ranking, which how healthy they are, because they have to have a birth year and we got rid of birth years so we could make sure characters don't actually age throughout the series. Mm -hmm. We just unlocked this, which is the character's popularity rankings. Let's see who's most popular. Are you serious? Neb is the most popular. Neb. <laughs> well, because Neb's been here the longest. They're the most time to make friends. Yeah, true. That's wow, Kato is lower than I thought. Huh. Who's the least? Oh. Well, they have. They just arrived. You know, they're fairly yeah. new. So they haven't had a chance to really make friends yet or make impressions on people. Yeah. Do you want to check out our boy charm and girl charm? Boy charm. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Neb, is, Neb isn't booted off. Neb got knocked down. No one likes the philosopher or Percy. <laughs> Girls, Kato is still number she one. She has a beard. That's that's her her charm point. I guess yeah, she stands out. <laughs> she does. Camille, the, the bearded lady. <laughs> She's the bearded lady. Not the circus. The bearded lady. All right. The other thing I want to check out was this uh, photo shoot. Oh yeah. Because we can probably take photos like in game. So. My headphones are slipping. You just fix it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. So who should we take a picture of? A pair. A group or the whole island? The whole island. The whole island. Let's take a group photo. And we can look back and be like, wow, there was nobody here. What background should we use? Um. Yellow. Like, pink. Yellow, pink. pink. Yellow. I don't know. Which one? <laughs> yellow. Let's go with pink. <laughs> no. <laughs> pink? No, from SpongeBob. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> take photo. Pink. Let's go. You do care. <laughs> Change our expression. These were white when I bought them. Um, <laughs> they're all shot. I love that. Oh, no. Perfect. <laughs> That's a good photo. That was beautiful. <laughs> all right, new cover photo. Wait, there's something. Oh, yeah, something else happened up here, too. Oh. Oh, the crazy questions. Quirky oh, questions. Yeah. So basically, Emma, what this is, you get to ask them these questions and they'll raise their hands. So. What question should we do? Is someone bad at, good at, or devoted to? Who's bad at sports? Bad at sports? Ask. Okay. Oh, you know, Dan, Daniel. Look, James is like, how could you? <laughs> he's like shocked. Because <laughs> he's like a basketball Shook. prodigy. All right, which of these do you like? Hmm. Who can't live without cheese? Cheese. Me. I can't. <laughs> I'd give up chocolate before cheese in a heartbeat. I could give up cheese. I don't. It's not that good. <gasps> Damn. <laughs> James is shocked. I feel again. like he'd be lactose intolerant, honestly. So. You know what? I could see it. Canon. <laughs> yeah, that's now canon. Whose mother resembles Michelle Obama? <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Obama. <laughs> her her mother, stepmother, I guess. Yeah, she doesn't know her mother. <laughs> yeah. All right. I love Thanks. Now we know we know new things about our characters. <laughs> nice. All right, I think there's some more problems here for us to solve. Also, okay. someone who's at the fountain. Oh, someone gave you. Percy. Oh, Percy's here to because he wants to ask out Bree, but he's too nervous. Aww. Too awkward. Too awkward. <laughs> so him and Br we haven't actually talked about these characters at all. We've been too busy yeah. with everything else. So the way him and Bree work is, um, they're kind of just fuck buddies. Mm -hmm. They're not anything more serious than that. Yeah. Though they accidentally end up having a daughter who will be introduced much later in the series. Yeah. And she's actually... Naruto running. <laughs> and their daughter is one of the two main characters in Windstriders. 
So the other one being the uh, daughter of which one is Winstrider? Daniel and Camille. That's the sci-fi series. Yeah. Okay. Other main character being the daughter of Daniel and Camille. So we got them together last episode. Yeah. Our goal for here is to at least make the two of them friends. Hopefully, get them romantically involved. We'll see. I'm the smartest girl I know. Yeah, that's very <laughs> much like her. So she's the biologist. Would you like to tell us a little about biology? Um, I don't understand plants. Perfect. She wants to be friends with Percy. <laughs> oh, good. I think she's more about animals too. So that's nice. Animals are nice and simple. You got <laughs> because you've got this genetic material, and it like, you know, each. You got the egg and the sperm, and the egg has half the genetic material, and the sperm has the other Emma, half. Emma, I don't know any of these words. <laughs> and they comp- You don't know what an egg and a sperm is? Emma, I failed science. <laughs> well, they come oh, good, they're friends. <laughs> Yay. And then plants, it's like, some have twice the genetic material, and, and it's- I don't get it. Perfect. They're friends. Good. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> so, she's actually probably interested in studying the alien life and the planet they're living on. Mm-hmm. All the weird, uh, creatures and whatnot. Yeah, I've come up with a few like she weird likes animals. department stores. That's kind of lame. <laughs> she pooted. Excuse you. Toot. <laughs> of course, he's still at the fountain alone. Oh, Kate will never together, see? Who's up there? Somebody has a problem. With That's uh, James. He always oh, has he's problems. playing with his cat, see? Aww. Oh, you got him a cat. Is that his or is that Dakota's? That's his. I think we got him a cat. I didn't know they could have pets. This is a great game. Oh, this, <laughs> this is my favorite game on 3DS. I will say, hands out, this is the best 3DS game. Yeah, it's. Are there lizards? No, it's just cats Aww. and dogs. I wish. I'd like a new hat. I'd like a new hat. Something sporty for him, probably. Oh, so that's that. sporty. Yeah. Yeah. Did you give him that? Yeah. yeah. What do you <laughs> I'm think? I'm not gonna go with that outfit, but... <laughs> <laughs> but ah, it kind of fits. Nice. Yeah, he, he looks like a mess anyway. I feel like the color palette kind of fits. Oh yeah, he doesn't yeah. know anything about fashion. <laughs> True. Here, I want you to have... What's he giving us? Oh, stomach medicine. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. It's very Here, thoughtful. I want you to have this. Have my, have my tums. <laughs> what do we have here? Dakota. She's just Dan. running around with him. Because both their names start with D's. <laughs> yeah, they're both main characters. <laughs> oh my golly gosh. <laughs> what should I say when I feel Ooh, down? What should she say when she feels down? She should be like, am Boop. I annoying? <laughs> what? Oh, poopity doop. Oh, poopity doop. <laughs> oh poopity doop. I wish I could hear it. That was I don't the know if I'd that was the our film sucks swear. In our film sucks, we didn't swear ever, so the characters would go oh poopity doop when they were mad. I remember that. <laughs> That's such a move. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. She's, she's probably a fair character so far. Oh my All god, right. they're just being airplanes. Kate is just dancing around here. <laughs> oh, she's pissed. I thought Why she was she... just dancing with Pooper. Yeah. Why is she mad? What's the matter? She oh, had what? a fight with- Another fight! She fights with everyone. Make this up, like, make up. This is like the third fight she's had. Oh, maybe whatever. <laughs> whatever? Yeah. Like, it's your fault. <laughs> oh, you don't want to see her problem? That was her problem. Oh, okay. See, we'll call Daniel back. Where is he? Yeah, he was running with her. Dakota's helping him forget his fight. <laughs> <sighs> we'll call him back, yeah, because he's probably fought with her too. How has Kato had like three fights already? <laughs> It's because she's so direct with people. She doesn't realize when she's offending them. Oh. I had a fight. Yeah, I'm gonna say he can. He can try to make up. All At right. this point, it's like Kato. You're you're the, you're the reason all these fights keep Kato, happening. Kato, I think you're the problem. <laughs> oh God, yeah, they're not getting along too well. Getting along okay? Oh, question he's not getting along with Pooper. Oh no! But this they were having a super nice in love with his wife. That's good. Well, that's that's always a good thing. Please help me calm down. <sighs> okay, how do we help him calm down? Panini. What's a panini anyway? It's a That's, sandwich. Should we give him a panini? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know a sandwich would calm oh, me down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, are you calm now? Good. I feel a lot calmer now. Oh, good. Let's see if this works. Now we have to hope that Kato forgives him. <laughs> She's there fuming, staring at her two baths. <laughs> so that way... Two baths. You can have two baths at once. I think it's so she and Neb can each have their own separate tub. <laughs> What's she gonna do? I don't know. Suspense. <gasps> oh oh no. shit. Aw. He's so sad. I mean, Kato's not, not really wor- losing much. Yeah, Kato's not worth the effort. She just fights with everyone. <laughs> Why does she fight? Aw. Now he's mean? depressed. <gasps> oh no. Wait, if you click on her, I think you get to see what they were fighting about. If you click on, on her a second time. We didn't patch things up. I think it's just random. Oh. Mr. Bear would like to... 
<laughs> they fought over the bear. That looks like Neb. It has a Neb face oh, on it. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna rip it. Oh Don't hurt god. the bear! No! Staring my <laughs> From this maniac. That's sad. That's so sad. It's a tragedy. We gotta cheer him up okay. and hope that... We can't feed him. We just fed him. Hmm. You know, Daniel never got that bath he wanted. Do we have a bath we set? We still don't have a bath set. How do we not have a bath set? Let's try giving him a slide puzzle. Come on, cheer up. <laughs> we have Let's so many of those. Okay. Let's solve it together. Oh, I'm so bad at this. It's uh, Percy. Oh, I hate these. Shit. Yeah, these... <laughs> Whenever I used to play this, I would just give him a slide puzzle and quit because I was like, there's no way I can do this. Let's see. Let's see. I, I might be able to get this. <laughs> oh. oh, it's so hard. Uh. <laughs> oh, you're close. <gasps> Wait, did you? Oh, my God. There you did go. it. I'm, I'm good at those. It's just like a logic puzzle. I can't. You know, I can't. a slide puzzle of Percy. <laughs> I can't rib, Rubik's cubes and, and slide puzzles. I just Rubik's cubes are black that. magic. I don't understand how those things work. <laughs> that was a blast. He says he still still feels all depressed. Oh my god! <laughs> can we go to Kato and maybe like? I'm the only one who can make. <laughs> the, I'm only... the only one who can make Mr. Bear. <laughs> okay, that's a little possessive. Maybe maybe we can try to calm Kato down. Yeah, maybe. If someone wants to play Kato. a game. It's like we don't have time for your games. Kato, Daniel's do you depressed. realize the mess you made? <laughs> go lift weights. <laughs> She just wants a new hat, though. She doesn't. She doesn't care. <laughs> Moving that he's on. <laughs> Give her the idiot hair. No, I don't think that would fit her. We gotta say this with the right characters, you know. Yeah. Hmm. What goes with her outfit? None of Try these. Try the were... the flowers. The flowers. Um. Hmm. I don't know if these would really fit. She has like a like a lady Leather suit. Leather barrette. Yeah. yeah, maybe that one. Yeah. Right, Kato. Her skirt is so shiny. I know, she has like a little pencil skirt. <laughs> this episode was supposed to be about Brie and Percy, but like they've just not been relevant. They, they don't have any problems. They made friends and they stopped like being an issue. Brie and Percy are the scientists. Yeah, yeah, this episode was supposed to be about them. Okay, here, we'll go. Oh, Brie wants to play a game. Let's play with her. <laughs> Please play with me. Cards. All right. Oh, oh, we win. You win. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> All right. Which prize we get, Emma? The big one. Got Aww. A flower. A tulip. Perfect. Is that a diaper in the second one? That'd be perfect for pooper. <laughs> like toilet paper to me, but either way, you still gotta cheer him up. Mm. Get him antidepressants. Get him a get him a new outfit. Yep. He's still in his default. Shirt. Yeah, let's let's look for. Um. Hmm. Try to look for something that actually fit him. Like nothing here. So what kind of person is Daniel? Um, he's very young and idealistic. He was put in charge of the young oh, militia the, when he was- Give him the yoga outfit. It's like a woman's <laughs> outfit. Give it to him! No, it won't cheer him he up. He didn't wear crop it. tops. He would hate it. And he wouldn't like it. Sad. <laughs> He'd just be depressed. Alright, if he's gonna be depressed, then just give him the hoodie, because that's like a depression clothing. <laughs> What about the pea coat? What was that? Wait, what about the military coat? I can see him wearing that. That is really fucking oh expensive. God. Is there anything cheaper? What about a, like a V-neck sweater? Nice. <laughs> he's, he, he's also fairly casual. He's not exactly formal. Yeah. So. Go for that then. Oh, he, white. He's all young and idealistic. He thinks he can like save everyone. You know. Mm -hmm. Um. He has some like superiors who are like more down to earth than him, who kind of like, tell him, "No, you can't go doing this." You know. Mm -hmm. He loves his wife Camille very much, although they're not married yet in Tomodachi life. So. He reminds me of Marth. Similar. He's not as cocky. Mm. <laughs> he doesn't have the cocky vibe to him. He's kind of like... He's very he's much a dad. A, he's not a fancy pants. He's very much a dad, if that makes sense. So. <laughs> the dad friend, I yeah. see. Well, he has, two, he has two children, so he is a dad. Oh. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Can we feed him? No, he already ate. I don't think it'll be... Uh, God damn it, why are you so depressed? Does he have any room in there? <laughs> Can we maybe, like... What about a disposable camera? Yeah, let's let him take some pictures. Take some artsy photos. What should I take a photo? That cloud above your head. Let's take something artsy. You got it. Time to... I thought that was the biggest missed opportunity that there's not a chance here for it to take a picture of the players. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Check it out. I guess that's what the photo shoot's for. Yeah. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's pretty. Nice. It's a wow, there's an actual photograph. <laughs> I thought it was going to like generate him. No, no, he took an artsy photo. <laughs> and when we sent them on vacation to the world, it's just like the me superimposed on photos. Oh. Okay, I'll just save it. We'll upload them all at the end of the Let's Play. He's got an eye for our discovery of a light. Dude, that's a perfect 10. <laughs> he's... Oh my he's god, still... he's still sad. It's just Kato. Kato really, like, broke him. <laughs> that, that She was really hurting the bear. I... <laughs> Let's give him a kaleidoscope, maybe. Yeah. Let me take a peek. All right. Hmm. Slide the touch screen. There's an, just it's Neb gone. in there. Oh, it's Neb! <laughs> and James. Neb, on the, and Neb was on the bear, and now he's in the kaleidoscope. And he's oh, and I see Pooper. This is like, this it. doesn't it's... work too well without like the motion controls. Let me yeah. see if I can, did I map those to the keys? I know I mapped the motion controls to something. I don't remember what though. Be happy, Daniel, please. <laughs> uh, go see Camille, she'll cheer you up. She'll you do your little dance. He's got like one sadness left. Oh, oh he's done. Oh, good. Oh, I love that. That's a satisfying song. <laughs> are you gonna patch up with Kato? Or are you guys just like moving on? Yeah. I don't know. Check their. Uh... I don't think Kato cared about him anymore. <laughs> check their status. Oh. Yeah, no, they're not friends anymore. Yeah, he gave you stomach either. medicine again. <laughs> <laughs> he's really concerned about hard. you having stomach aches. He doesn't like his hair. Well, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll draw you new hair then. It's your canon hairstyle. <laughs> All right, you can I think... have, give him a, a, a character development related hair, haircut. <laughs> After his wife dies of mysterious illness, he shaves his hair and goes bald. <laughs> to show I... his sorrow. To show his... Diff... <sighs> Catch. If you, you miss, you'll get disappointment. Drop the item and catch it. Got it. I love how the, yeah, the rules for that say that if you catch it, you get the item. If you miss, you get disappointment. <laughs> this game's sense of humor is so good. It's just so weird, you know? Glass ornament. All right, I think we're going to solve one more problem and then call this episode quits. I did want to show off more of Bree and Percy. Oh! Are they hanging out oh, together on a date. the fountain? Aw, Aw look at that. You. Those are the people you're trying to get together? Yep. Yeah, they, so that's we didn't, good. We didn't talk too much about them in the episode itself, just in the bio. So Bree is the biologist. She enjoys going on adventures on the alien world and discovering the new wildlife there. Percy's yeah. a chemist. He's like the exact opposite. He's super timid and shy and doesn't like leaving the lab. Yeah, it's so dangerous out what, there. What kind of chemistry does he do? I mean, you think I fucking know this <laughs> shit? Well, does he like make new chemicals, maybe, or maybe he's experimenting with the materials they're finding on the alien okay. world? Ooh. Yeah, haven't given it too much thought because so chemistry. <laughs> he kind of likes her, but he's way too awkward and nervous to do it, like actually ask her out in canon. So instead, they're just fuck buddies, and they accidentally have a daughter. Oops. <laughs> and I th well, too you said nervous to ask her out, but he can have sex with her. Well, because she comes on to him for that. Oh. And Katie, you said that. Um, they never, like, actually become anything, right? No, no, never. Yeah, never. He's too awkward. Mm -hmm. But see, look at them getting they along. They have though. a daughter together. I say that's something. Well, yes, yes, but, like... Do they not raise her together? No, they're separate. She, yeah, yeah, I think she lives with her mom. But she sees her dad so, a lot. Yeah. She has a, a relationship with both her parents, but, like, no, they don't live together or anything. Mm. And imagine he's just talking about chemistry, and she's, like, relating that to biology. So, are they similar <laughs> subjects at all? Science there is biochemistry. God damn, that sounds like suicide. I'm taking organic <laughs> chemistry. It's hard. Emma, I took academic high school chemistry, and I that was my lowest grade I ever gotten in class. I think it was, yeah, same. I think I got a C in chemistry. Do you want to hear his impression of Pooper? All right. Before we end off this episode? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spot on. That was perfect. Neb is quite an impressionist. Neb is absolutely perfect. We have one more problem I think we need to solve before we can end this off here. Because now Camille has a problem. Please want a different outfit because I'm so sick of you wearing the default me I shirt. Know. It's so ugly. If it's an... what, what kind of song would you want to sing, Emma? <laughs> Out of tune. Out of tune? It's me too. <laughs> Aw, she's so nice to you. Alright, what should we give her? Uh... Gift. Let's give her a gift. Give her a ballet manual, because she Yeah, dances. she is a dancer. She doesn't really do ballet, but close enough. <laughs> She's a little more sexy than that, but... <laughs> well, now she can experiment with different styles. Different forms, you're right. <laughs> oh, look, look at her, at her going. She's a pro already. Oh. 
she already has like the experience <laughs> of knowing how to move her body. I can't do that. <laughs> no. All right, well, Emma, I'd like to thank you very much for coming out here. Did you enjoy Tomodachi Life? Yeah, it was nice. So Emma was the first of many guests we're going to have in this series. Like I said in the first episode, I intend to get every single guest we've ever had on the channel back for at least one episode. So Emma's the first of many to come. Thank you very much for being here, Emma. I hope you enjoyed this all. I did. Are you going to go get Tomodachi Life? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's only 20 bucks. Ah, I don't know if it's worth 20 bucks. You're broke. Oh. <laughs> I'll say this. It's worth more than Fire Emblem Fates and you bought that trash. I did. <laughs> And you're going to get three houses and that looks just as bad as Fates to me. It's been much more well received. I don't care. Byleth is the ugliest goddamn character they've ever designed. <laughs> you don't have to look at them. <laughs> I do. All right. Thank you all for watching some Fabulous Fish. And Katatiri 101. And Pokemon 6 Temple D. Or Emma. And look at this beautiful sunset. What a great way Aww. to end off this episode. Happy October, everyone. Bye-bye. Spooky, scary skeletons. <laughs>